boxes in the living room But life was in a narrow way to see to that old transition I got a piled up high in the corner of the kitchen And I'm itching just to find a little bit of unpacked nutrition Welcome back to the City Stead. I'm Josh. Today we're going to do a little DIY project. I'm going to show you guys how to make some of your very own trays for potting up your seeds. Now if you're like me, you'll make some of your own little pots. I showed you a little video on how to make these sweet little paper pots. I will link it of course right there for you. And then as you can see over here, we're also repurposing some materials we got. These are milk cartons that we've been getting from like the school, just kind of collecting from different people we know. And we also got a bunch of fruit cups. I think they're over this way. Fruit cups, school lunches and stuff like that. You know, put it back in the bag, bring it home, collect them all up throughout the year. We're using these for parting up. One thing we're gonna need for all those is trays because we are running out of trays that we already have. Uh, I use a lot of these black trays that I've been getting from nurseries over the years. I just kind of keep them, hold on to them. Uh, today, we're gonna make some of our very own DIY trays uh, that are gonna be reusable. We're gonna be able to use them over and over a bunch on our own little place. And it's gonna be pretty easy to make and pretty cheap because I already had some of the materials lying around. I'm repurposing those. So all of this project is repurposed materials. All right, so this project does not require a ton. Hi. <laughs> Hi. All right, so this project does not require a ton of stuff. I just got a few things that I'm reusing. Uh, we got some flat boards, and these are just quarter inch. It's kind of like a smooth finish top here. Uh, I used these when I made the kids play kitchen. The outdoor kitchen is the cable tabletop. So this is just what I cut off of there extra. And then I got here a bunch of pieces that I cut already pre-cut these are going to be our outside wall for our tray uh these i actually came from some old trim that was on our uh, house when we bought the place so it's like uh four inches by an inch one by four that's all it is i just cut it down into the sizes i needed to fit one of these trays right here the other thing i got here is some screws i'm just gonna do some decking screws i got a bunch of them all around you guys probably see my magical bucket of uh screws a lot of you probably have your own buckets and then of course got a couple drills i got one with a drill bit a little bit smaller than this because i'm going to pilot hole all these holes because i a little bit smaller wood i want to be safe safe with it i don't want to crack nothing then we got our driver to put it all in all right time to get busy so the process of doing this is actually fairly easy. All we're doing is making a three-sided rectangle. <laughs> we're actually not making a rectangle, we're closing it off. We're leaving the one end open just to be able to slide things in and out. And we're gonna pre-drill our little holes on the side. Nice and easy. Put a couple screws in there. Just like that, pretty simple. So we do the other side. The same way. All right, so now we got our sweet little uh, three-sided rectangle. We're gonna put it flat on the table here. Next, we take our flat base that we have. We just set it on top of here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fasten it down with a few screws. Drill ourselves some pilot holes. All this crap I've accumulated and I've waited for a place that's big enough to fit into. Onward, upward, running with a new herd. Too small, you all gotta get it transferred. Packing and I'm stacking and I'm making all my crap fit. Gotta shove it all into the brown boxes. That's what it looks like when it's done. All ready to go. I got 25 pounds of long grain rice and the cereal I bought when I was in California. Don't try to lift that box over there, it's full of old magazines, I just thought I'd warn ya. 
Onward, upward, running with a new herd Too small, you all gotta get it transferred Packing and I'm stacking and I'm making all my crap fit Gotta fit it all into the brown boxes I got pants I ain't seen since six sizes back I got piles of unmatched socks and so I'll throw them on the stack I got boxes that were not unpacked since the last time that I moved in back And they're probably never gonna see the light of day No, they're probably never gonna see the light of day short time not too bad so I left one side open as you guys can see and a lot of it is just that makes it easier to put things in and out of it say we're gonna put one of these in here we could do that put it right in there right out of there the thing you most often seen associated with these is soil blockers and we'll get into that a little bit when we get down to that point but uh, I'm going to use these for all sorts of different things. I'm going to use them for soil blocks and I'm also going to use them for just trays of holding all the different things I've made. Like all of these paper pots that we made the other day, they will fit right on here fairly easy. We can just fill this thing up with paper pots. You guys have also seen that I've been making tons of little pots with these milk cartons that we got and we can line them up in there real easy, real nice and we can fill this thing up with those for all starting our seeds. So even though I have just a quarter inch bottom on there, you can see not really too big. It's actually a fairly strong, it's holding this whole tray here that's already planted out full of dirt, no problems. It will hold up to that. Another cool thing I was thinking about with these is that it'd be really easy to throw like a drawer handle on here on the ends and you could have a handle to actually lift them, move them around, carry them about, whatever you wanna do. It might just be another handy thing to do, especially if you're going to put them on a shelf like this. If you were to put them long way, you could do like a file cabinet. You have a handle here, you'd be able to pull it right off of that tray if you have a bunch of them lined up that way. So there's many different things we could do with this to improve the design, make it better. But for now, this is a basic tray that I made with just a bunch of material that was just already at my house. Maybe something you guys can do if you're looking for uh, trays to actually help start seeds. This right here could be a really good DIY kind of tray for you. All right, guys, that is a DIY seed starting tray just for you guys. Maybe you guys find it handy, maybe not. I think it's pretty neat. I'm glad to have a whole bunch of these now because I needed some more trays and I didn't want to buy any. I had some materials. I thought, God, definitely try to make that work. So we are going to build maybe a few more of these because I got a little bit more stuff laying around that I can do. But for now, four of these trays are going to do me pretty well. It'll help me get a lot more stuff started. So guys, remember, be bold and grow bold. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.